Hello and welcome to Dry Spark. This is Bardwaj and we are talking about an all new premium SUV that has been revealed to the world. I am talking about the new Land Rover Defender 130. So as we already know the demand for SUVs is on a rise across the world and more so in India. So as a result Land Rover has decided to upgrade their Defender lineup with the longest uh, 130 model lineup uh, in the world and giving justice to the Defender 130's name is its length which spans for 5338mm. Yes, it spans over 5300mm which is huge in terms of uh, SUV length. Now what Defender 130 is? So Defender 130 is basically the same as the Defender 110 from the C-pillar to the front. However, at the back it has grown by 348mm to accommodate the second row seating which Land Rover says can accommodate three people in abreast seating. With that Defender also features over 360 litres of boot space with all three row seats up. Now this boot space is a tad bit over what you find on the Tata Nexon uh, compact SUV. Now the Defender 130 is offered in uh, two variations that is the 8-seater configuration and the 5-seater configuration. Let me talk about the boot space in uh, total. So uh, if you are looking for the 8-seater configuration and if you fold the second row and third row seats down, the boot space increases to 2000. 200 liters however in the five seater configuration the boot space increases when you fold the second row seat down to over 2300 liters of uh, boot space now this is humongous even for a suv now as we already know land rover defenders are known to be the most off-road capable vehicles in the world and land rover has not compromised uh, with the off-road capability of the defender 130 as well so the approach angle of the defender 130 is rated at 37.5 degrees and the departure angle is rated at 28.5 degrees and the breakover angle is rated at 27.8 degrees which is around 12 degrees less than the Defender 110 because of the additional rear overhang. Now speaking about the ground clearance, articulation and water wading, the Defender 130 features a 290mm ground clearance and over 400mm of articulation height and it can wade waters up to 900mm. So it is safe to say that the Defender 130 uh, will keep going regardless of any terrain. Now to top it off, speaking about the payload capacities and the towing weight, the Defender 130 uh, 5 seater and the 8 seater can take up to 750 kgs, 50 more on the 5 seater variant and speaking about the towing capacity, it can tow up to 3000 kgs which is equivalent to four a tata aces uh, together moving on let me speak about the engine and gearbox options that are offered in the defender 130 defender 130 is offered in both petrol and diesel engine options the petrol engine options comes with the p300 that is 300 ps of power with 470 newton meters of torque and the top model that is the p400 uh, features a power figure of 400 PS and 550 Newton meters of torque. Now coming to the diesel powertrains, it is offered in two configurations again. The D250 which produces 250 PS and 600 uh, Newton meters of torque and the D300 which produces 300 PS and 650 Newton meters of torque. Now all these engines are 3 liter 6 cylinder units and comes mated to a 8 speed ZF uh, automatic gearbox that is seen in the Defender 90 and the 110 models. Off road terrain response system which will uh, help the driver to navigate through any terrains uh, be it mud, sand or also you can put it under auto and let the car do all the work. Now these are the details of the off road system that is there on the Defender 130. Now coming to the design and the interiors, design more or less remains the same as as the Defender 110 which gets matrix LED headlamps and you get a horizontal slat grille with the Land Rover uh, badge up front and body claddings all over the SUV. However, where the 130 differs from the 110 is that Land Rover has uh, given a boat tail shape to the rear section to increase the departure angle of the Land Rover Defender 130. Now coming to the interior of the Land Rover Defender 130 is packed with features. This includes the 11.4 inch touchscreen PV Pro infotainment system which helps uh, the users to get a lot of information and also is very easy to use and one of the best in the industry. The driver cockpit features the 10 inch instrument cluster and you get heated seats for all three rows which is very unheard of and very luxurious. Uh, it also comes with a couple of color options for the interiors you get tan leather and also beige leather with that you get heated pads also on the third row with along with AC vents. However to make the third row passengers feel premium the Land Rover Defender 130 will also get two panoramic sunroofs 
giving the cabin a lot of airy and premium feel. Now these are all the details that have been revealed by Land Rover for the Defender 130. However, the premium SUV is currently available only in European market but we can be sure that Land Rover would be considering India as a potential option for the Defender 130 launch because we love our SUVs and especially if it's a three row SUV, we love it the most. So what did you think about the new Defender 130? Please mention them in the comments below and like and share this video and subscribe to Drive Spark if you haven't done it already. This is Balwa signing off. Stay safe and drive safe.